If they want to, they can rip apart the entire health care system. They have the votes in the House, they have the votes in the Senate, they have the new president coming in. But know that they really will pull the thread that unravels the entire system. Everybody who has insurance through their employer gets new protections. They can't get dropped if they get sick. The pre-existing conditions. Women now are not rated differently and paying more than men. You can actually have maternity care as part of every single plan, mental health help, opioid addiction help, and all of that goes away for every single person that has insurance. And so we are going to be telling the story and fighting for people, whether it's a 22-year-old who's now on their parents' insurance as they graduate from college trying to get started in the workplace, or a woman who has Alzheimer's who desperately needs to have long-term care through Medicaid. So, so it's, this is, you know, this is craziness, Erin, that's going on right now here with the idea of repealing and unraveling the whole health care system, creating instability in one-sixth of the entire economy with no plan so, to replace it. So let me ask you, though, because, you know, you're listing off the things that you say work about this, but obviously the bottom line is, is of costs that have surged. And uh, the House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi uh, said she has one regret about Obamacare, one regret, and here's what she says it is. If there was one thing I would have done differently about the Affordable Care Act right from the start was to message it in a very a much stronger way. And, and that sounds like what you're talking about. You're trying to say, look, the message is this. Think about this, this, and this. You're giving those examples. But there's the bottom line. The average premium for the benchmark silver plan was up 22 percent uh, this year. If you look at North Carolina, we sent a reporter there right before the election. There is now sure. one statewide carrier. Two others dropped out. So there, there's one. It's a monopoly. 63-year-old right. retiree says he, right. he can't afford coverage. $900 a month increase in premiums. How is and this problem one of messaging? That. No, it's what we need to do is fix that by adding more competition. This is a private marketplace competition way of providing health insurance. And the way that we can fix that, one of the ways is in areas where there's not choice and competition, is to add a public option, like many of us wanted to do at the very beginning, so there was a true competition in the marketplace. Erin, I think the important thing right now is to understand I'd be willing to walk from this interview and sit down immediately with Republican colleagues. We've been trying for six years to say, let's improve on the system. Let's create more competition, lower prices. I want to tackle issues that relate to small business. But you don't do that by burning down a house when you say you want to renovate it and make it better. You don't start by burning it down.